Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is a bit of a different video, but whatever. Arcane Season 2 Act 1 dropped, and it is amazing. It's up there with some of the greatest works I've ever seen in my life. And today they released a teaser for Act 2. I would like to go through this little trailer, pick apart some of the stuff, and just predict what will happen in Act 2. So, let's just dive into it shall we? The first thing we see is Savika looking at a statue of Vander. I think this is Savika finally realizing why Vander did what he did, finally seeing his side of things, just like Silco did, with both Savika and Silco having the easy decision of getting rid of Jinx and solving all their problems, but they both just love Jinx too much and they finally understand Vander's point of view. Savika will definitely be standing with uh, Jinx throughout the entire rest of the season. She might even die for the cause just like Silco did right after he realized Vander was right. It's like an infection. Once you understand Vander, you get fucking killed. Next, we see this bat guy. I think his name is Scar. Looking at the memorial wall in the Firelight's place. And we can actually see Echo is up there. Which, um, that's probably bad. Echo might still be stuck in the arcane. Probably alongside Heimerdinger because we don't see them in this trailer. They might get out in Act 3, but it seems for now they're, they're stuck in there or they're just missing gone somewhere and scar is taking up the, the the mantle to lead which if you've seen act one and heard some of the things scar has said uh the fire lights will change a bit which is shown through some of the other shots we see of jinx and some of the fire lights all together all teaming up next we see ambessa talking to commander caitlin it seems like they'll be working together of course for the rest of the season at least maybe something will change in act three i think ambessa will definitely probably die in act three but it seems like caitlin will be leading the enforcer brigade upon the undercity and probably once caitlin sees all of them teaming up with jinx it's gonna go crazy we can also see caitlin uh, looking at the statue of her mother still mourning that loss i think caitlin could possibly turn back to good i mean she's certainly not bad she's probably just doing what she thinks is right just just mourning terribly which is very understandable but she'll most definitely uh be good by the end i i think personally she'll probably accidentally shoot a child or something just like jace did and and she'll be like <gasps> or just see a dead kid because she normally doesn't miss a shot unless she's like really pissed off like in in the end of act one when she was like all wiggly and angry and missing but in Act 2, she's most definitely just leading the Enforcer Brigade upon these people of the Undercity. She already gassed them and now gonna murder them all. The next thing we see is Jinx with that little orb, which I don't know if these things are still gonna be glitchy and weird because of the arcane. I think the only characters that'll be really focused on doing anything with the actual arcane is probably gonna be just Jace and then Victor. Everyone else is doing their own stuff, trying to trying to get freedom and then trying to fight against people trying to get freedom. Hextech probably won't be used as much because of the weird glitchiness then of course the next shot is is commander caitlin i've already said my my theories on her she's she's just gonna be probably evil for most of act two probably all of it next we see of course pit fighter vi we've already seen a lot of this this is just her trying to get away from the identity of vi going through a big identity crisis because everyone's changing around her and now she thinks she's changing most likely which if you don't know it's it's a common theme with vi of like being scared of people changing just like please don't change and it's probably going to be really fucked up for her to see herself changing, getting rid of the Vi tattoo by covering her face in black makeup. Next, we get a shot of some of the fire lights and uh, Jinx's little buddies with their blue hair. It seems she's become like an icon leading all this. And Scar is probably like letting the fire lights team up with her because like he wants to fight now. This is their chance. He's probably also really mad because Echo is dead and gone alongside Heimerdinger. At least to them, it seems that way. You also don't see Heimerdinger on that wall. He might just be like, this guy doesn't belong on here. If he's dead, fuck him. Next, we see a shot of Vi looking at spray paint of Jinx with, with Vander, which is a bit weird to see them next to each other because they don't, they never really talked a lot. The only interaction they had together was when Vander like gave her a cup of like juice or something and no words were exchanged ever between them. But Vi is there with her, with her fists, which I don't know how she got those. Maybe she just, she just kept them. And this might be a turning point for Vi. She might not go back to the enforcers and team up with them. She might stay with the Undercity and then help them them instead or just go off by herself next we see a shot of jinx and all their little blue hair buddies caitlin is most definitely going to kill a lot of these guys because she hates jinx and there's going to be a whole 
clan of people together that are dressed like her and look like her and that's not gonna that's not gonna end up well the next two shots are actually epic it's 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 warwick which is which is vander but he's like mutated and weird fighting jinx i think vi and jinx are definitely gonna team up to fight vander and maybe kill him sadly we might see a flicker of vander and in, in warwick's eyes like one last moment like, and then they die but there's definitely gonna be a huge fight with warwick next we see smoke bombs being shot off by most definitely jinx and mel being dragged around by the weird legends of zelda hands alongside a shot of jason he looks way different for mel's story i feel like she might be just stuck in that little stand reality domain expansion and ambessa might think she's dead and mel might pick up the the black rose and might use it against Mbessa, but i think mel is going to survive the black rose somehow by either like joining them or or just like getting set free after Mbessa dies or something and for jace i feel like when victor said i was supposed to die you were supposed to destroy the hex core i feel like jace is gonna go through with that and actually kill victor set him free alongside destroying the hex core and for victor i don't see him in this trailer but we have a, a teaser two of them actually one of jace and one of victor victor seems to have his hair really grown out and he's jesus christ now and jace here with with some weapon it looks like hex core type stuff it's like weird and gross looking victor's story is going to continue in act two but i don't know where it's going to go i i it, he's definitely probably not going to die in act two he's probably just going to keep doing his little jesus routine but there's definitely going to be a moment where they meet again and they probably fight and victor's going to be like what are you doing and she's gonna be like i'm destroying the hex core and victor's like i accept i accept this death probably not gonna happen in act two but there's probably gonna be a build up next we see Mbessa's main soldier being attacked by jinx this might be the big fight where where the enforcers raid the undercity which is further proven by a, a shot of Mbessa charge it's most definitely the the the, the point of of war and it looks like vi joins in and and fights against the enforcers because it, it shows her punching and then the the main soldier of Mbessa being thrown through glass it seems like at the end of this all vi and jinx might put aside their differences to help the undercity and they might become sisters once more but i wouldn't put much faith in that they might like try to become sisters and at the end of it all jinx is like this won't work out i I'm leaving, by The next shot shows Savika holding that little child uh, running away. The child actually has blue hair. It seems like this might be where Vi and, and Jinx probably tell these people to run. We'll deal with Warwick because the next shot, it's like the same colorization, but it, it, Warwick is there and Vi is there and they're about to slam down and, and fight. It would suck if, if Jinx and Vi both have to kill vander but at this point he's probably long gone singe has probably messed him up completely to the point of no return like i said there'll probably be a final moment where we see him in in, in warwick's eyes see vander in his eyes uh, in his final moments or something act two comes out on the 16th so if any of these predictions are right come back to this video and say bruh you you called some of this stuff it's not too hard to, to to predict some of this stuff it's pretty standard predictions but i could be insanely wrong speaking of which if you guys have any predictions you guys can comment them down below i'll read some of them and be like "Ooh, ah yes ah i like being enlightened by comments sometimes anyway yeah that was the entire teaser and all of the possible predictions i had for everything i feel like i covered everything i wanted to so uh yeah if you like this video please press like and all that i'll probably make another one if they do an act three teaser and this video has enough likes and stuff but yeah i'm excited to watch this go down anyway yeah that's it for me thank you guys for watching i hope to see you guys next time but in case i don't see ya good afternoon good evening and good night. Ascending to godhood, you're just dehydrated. Out of my way, gay boy! I'm about to liberate my divine self from this mortal shell!